Ah yes, it's time for another album ranking. Today we are ranking none other than the legendary black metal band Immortal. Now, before I get started, let me tell you something. This week we're doing a complete CD collection. That's right, I'm going to show you every single CD I have in my collection so far. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, what a fucking day it has been here in Australia. Yes, yes, recently there was an earthquake. I went about a hundred kilometers away from the epicenter. I think it was 5.9 on, on the Richter scale as well. And there was um, a bit of damage around, especially across the Melbourne area, but I'm all right. You know what I was listening to? I was listening to immortal, uh, well, Northern Chaos Gods when the earthquake hit at nine o'clock this morning. Could 2021 get any more fucking weirder here in Australia? I'm not too sure. We are ranking Immortal. Now, Immortal is a band that that I have a few, a few mixed feelings with. At times, I don't understand the hype for this band. To me, Immortal can get sometimes a little bit boring, and that's my brutal, honest opinion. And some of these albums I listened to throughout the discography uh, over the last few weeks because uh, Questy asked me to rank this band and I couldn't say no to the man I told him to rank Lord Below and he ranked Lord Below and I am here to acknowledge um, his choice which is Immortal and Immortal is a band for me that I have trouble getting into at times but of course there is one fucking album one fucking album that is one of my favorite black metal albums of all fucking time and I will tell you at the end of the video when I reveal to you my number one album for Immortal but yeah some of these albums don't really do much for me I'm not gonna say that I fucking love every single album because I fucking don't I think some of these albums are awful especially one album which I will be mentioning soon but yeah let me know in the comments below your favorite Immortal album this might be a mixed ranking you could say but you know it's my honest opinion and you'll hear to see my ranking Immortal were formed in 1991 Immortal wasn't involved with the controversy around mayhem although they were associated with Euronymous and also Varg they definitely moved away from the controversy we had a bath and Demonaz who were the founders of Immortal so they have released nine studio albums now I have listened to these albums a few times to be honest, after I finish this ranking, I kind of don't want to go back to Immortal. I think there are way other better black metal bands out there than Immortal. Put on an album now and again, they're pretty cool, but let's get on with it. So, coming up last is Blizzard Beast. This album is awful. It really is. I, I don't understand. The songs are way too short. The best song of the album is probably Mountains of Might, which is the longest song of the album. Mountains of Might. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's quite melodic, but what's the problem with Blizzard Beast is the overall production. The production sounds like shit. It really does. You got, I know black metal at times is supposed to sound like shit, but holy shit, this album sounds like a dumpster fire. It really does. All the crackling and murky noises. The drums are really low in the mix and the guitars are really grindy at times and uh, bass vocals are okay but yeah there are some really cool riffs on this but yeah I just feel that Blizzard Beast is one of the worst Immortal albums it is the worst Immortal album and um, yeah I never want to listen to it again I listened to it about three times and I had to turn it off the third way because I thought it was an absolute disgrace for a black metal album. Next up is Battles in the North. <laughs> I love the album cover. The album cover is pretty cool with Abath and Demoners in the snow with a white background and everything and look at his fucking face. But Battles in the North is an okay album, I suppose. It's not one of my favorites. Songs are pretty short as well. Battles in the North is a pretty good song, but the song's cut like that. And at times it really confuses the listener in my opinion. And some of these riffs do that sound the same. They sound quite repetitive. Like such as Battles of North sounds at times like Grim and Frostbitten Kingdoms. But Blashka, Mighty Raven Dark, is a pretty good song overall. It's pretty fun. The music video is fun as well. I really enjoyed the music video. And what I really enjoy about this album are the overall lyrics. Like the lyrics are really fun. It seems like Abarth and Demonaz created this whole mystical land called Blashka and they've basically created a law. And behold, most of these albums are all about Blaschke and the people. And that's what I really do enjoy. But overall, Battles in the North by Immortal, I did enjoy a little bit 
But yeah, again, I feel it's one of their weakest. Next up is All Shall Fall. This album is a pretty good album. I actually do enjoy I just love how some of these songs are quite long. Great songs like All oh, Shall Fall, The Rise of Darkness, Hordes to War, Northern of Fire has one of the best solos. Really enjoy Arctic Swarm as well. Mount North, a very interesting intro. And Unearthly Kingdom is a great way to end off the album. One of the best producing albums as well by Immortal. Just a really fun LP overall. This was Abbas' last um, Immortal album. You had Hog also on drums, and the drumming on this is actually really good. It's a good album overall, but yeah, I just feel there are better albums than All Shall Fall, but we're getting to the albums that I'm starting to enjoy. Next up is Pure Holocaust. This album is very evil indeed. Production's okay, but yeah, it's it's an okay album as well. Great songs like Frozen by Icewing, Storming Through Red Clouds and Holocaust Winds, and Pure Holocaust I really do enjoy. <laughs> the album cover cracks me up as well. Um, they're just staring at staring into your soul. Pure Holocaust is a good album. But, you know, the next few albums we want to mention are a hell of a lot better than Pure Holocaust. Demon S is great on guitar, really good guitar work. And at times this album can become quite chaotic. Where the other albums I have mentioned are less chaotic apart from Blizzard Beast was a shitstorm, that's for sure. Shit snowstorm. Next up is Damned in Black. This is when Immortal become black and thrash, you could say. There are elements of thrash on this. Great songs like Triumph, Triumph, Wrath from Above, My Dimension. Against the Tide, I love that solo on Against the Tide, and Damned in Black is such a really fun way to end off the album. <laughs> Again, the album cover is amazing. Damned in Black is a really fun LP. I always, I really wanted to listen to this album over and over again. I gave this album about four chances, and holy shit, I started to really enjoy it. Damned in Black is a good album. I really enjoyed the drumming on this, and not to mention the really meaty guitar riffs. Production's pretty good as Immortal are really improving with their production. Next up is the albums that I really do enjoy by Immortal. Yeah, we're going to the stuff that I really fucking enjoy. Sons of Northern Darkness. This is a great fucking album. It really is. Songs like One by One, Sons of Northern Darkness, Tyrants. A Tyrant is so damn fun. Within the Dark Mind is such a catchy song. Antarctica, really love the interesting intro in Antarctica, incorporating a few acoustic moments. And Beyond the North Waves, such an epic song. Feels like you're just journeying within a mortal as you are sailing into the seas. But yeah, great album, Sons of Northern Darkness. Really do enjoy it. There's nothing bad I can say. But it is a very, it is a solid black metal album. A few proggy elements as well on this. A few odd time signatures. Abbas vocals are fantastic on this. Love the bass work. And Hogg's drumming is absolutely spectacular as well. The drumming is one of the main stars of Sons of Dark, Northern Darkness. It's definitely one of the most melodic albums you could say by Immortal. Incorporating elements of that bit of black and thrash. Next up is The Return of Immortal. We got Northern Chaos Gods, and this is with Demon Az on vocals, and we also had Hog on drums. And overall, these two just absolutely slayed on this album. Fucking love it. Great songs like Northern Chaos Gods, Gates to Blushka, along with Where Mountains Rise. Songs like Mighty Raven Dark, Mighty Raven Dark. When I heard that song, I heard that song, I was listening to Norman Chaos Chords, and uh, fucking the ground was shaking, I just feel like I was in battle as well. Great songs, really enjoyed the guitar work, some really good solos as well on this. Called to Ice, Called to Ice is such a great song overall. Good production, it, I love the riffs on this, and yeah, it's a really fun album. Next up is At the Heart of Winter. This is a great album. This is when Mortal become more melodic, and this is a hell of a lot better than their uh, previous album, Blizzard's Beast. The production's fantastic. This is more melodic. It's more, it's more slow tempo as well. Great songs like Withstand the Fall of Time, Solar Four, Tragedies Blows a Horizon. One of my favorite Immortal albums. Years of Silent Sorrow and Where Dark and Light Don't Defer. Just really great songs, and also the soft title track. 
I love Tragedy's Blows at Horizon. That guitar work is magnificent. Abba's vocals are incredible on this. Uh, this was the first album without Demon As, unfortunately, because he, I think he had tendonitis or something, uh, but he didn't return until Northern Chaos Gods in 2018. But yeah, at the gates, I mean, sorry, At the Heart of Winter is a fantastic fucking album. It, I, I believe that this could definitely be one of the introductory black metal albums if you want to listen to melodic black metal because it's a fantastic fucking album by Immortal. Sons of Northern Darkness, uh, Northern Chaos Gods, and At the Heart of Winter. These uh, three albums are really neck and neck. These albums could alternate. And finally, my favorite, my favorite Immortal album is Diabolical Full Moon. Is my my favorite album is Diabolical Full Moon and Mysticism. What a fucking great title. This is the most evil sounding album by Immortal. The Core of the Winter Moon. That song's amazing. Unfor unholy, unholy Forces of Evil. Cryptic winter, winter Storms. And not to mention that nine minute song, A Perfect Vision of the Rising Northland. This is a great album overall. It's so damn atmospheric. It's very evil. And of course, Abba's vocals on this. I love when he goes, wow, do, 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 wow. He always goes, wow. I mean, he doesn't, he only does this on this album. The rest, he doesn't do that, wow. This is a great fucking album, it really is. It's fun, it's so damn evil, and it's dark, but I fucking love it. And that is like one of the best album covers when he's fucking breathing fire. Holy crap. Yeah, Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism is a masterpiece by Immortal. It's one of my favorite black metal albums. I just love the production on this. Production so damn good on this. It's got that 90s black metal. And if people say, oh, but you don't like Blizzard Beast because of the production, it sounds very similar to Diabolical Full Moon Mi Mysticism. Well, you, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. This doesn't sound grainy. This doesn't sound murky. It doesn't sound muddy, does it, you retard? It's really clean, but it's also quite raw. And that's what I love about Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism. It's that it's raw, but it's also clean. And you can hear every single instrumental. I love it. So, yeah, Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism is my number one Immortal album. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Immortal album record. I know I will piss off a few people, but you know what? It's all part of the fun. Um, yeah, Blizzard Beast is like the worst black metal album I've heard, to be honest. It is. And Immortal is a band that is slowly growing on me. I, I am still a little bit torn with this band. But, of course... It was a request by Quest for Metal, and of course I had to do it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this ranking. Do you agree or disagree with my opinion? Keep discussion going in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one.